What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise, where we're in one of my favorite filming locations for a very special reason. It's this car right here. This is a 2022 Mercedes AMG E53 Cabriolet. But before we get into this drop top luxury two door car, let's talk about what's going on here. Mercedes Benz. They've been doing the business for so many decades over the years. You know, when we think of German Euro brands, you have Mercedes-Benz, you have BMW, and of course you have Audi. Now, with this E-Class, they did do some refreshing, some updating, and of course, one of the few brands still bringing a two-door, drop-top, larger size vehicle. Now, with the changes, they really kind of cleaned up the style. Of course, underneath the hood, Lots of different ways you could go power-wise. I'm sure you were listening at the beginning of this video because you heard those three letters, A-M-G. What does that go for? That goes for performance. Now, when we look at those other German Euro brands, of course, we got to talk about BMW and we got to talk about Audi and they're all competing for one another, not only on the sales floor, but also racetracks around the world. So what I want to find out is, is this E- 53, is this the drop top to get over, say, a BMW 8 Series? Let's go ahead, let's dive in to our 2022 AMG E53 and find out. Right off the bat, very, very familiar lines. And you know what? One of my favorite colors for a Mercedes-Benz product, either white, gray, and like a silver gray or a black look perfect on these vehicles. Now, up front, you'll see the change up that they did for model year 2021 with the headlight design, you're gonna have your projector beam LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps. I like the way they've done that signature daytime running lamp look. And the fact that everything is blacked out on the interior of the headlight housing gives it a nice, clean, modern aesthetic. Now, dropping it like it's hot, we do have a little bit of gloss black, just a splattering of gloss black. The good news is we have a functional side air curtain. The bad news is, is that we have a fake vent area here. And on an AMG product, that to me is a big no-no. So I am gonna have to zonk that, but I do like the horizontal dividers to help to send that air. And to be honest with you, the only thing that they would need to do is just smooth this flat black plastic out instead of put this grill shape design. Love the way it kind of waterfalls down nicely in that lower corner area, giving that clean look, but also giving us that aerodynamic efficiency. And then of course, coming towards the center. So much history with just a single badge, and that's the Mercedes-Benz, that TriStar, beautiful setup. Love the shiny chrome finish around it. You're gonna have a forward-facing camera. You have the horizontal slots, just with a little bit of shiny stuff. Everything else is flat black, and like I was mentioning at the start of the video, AMG. That used to be originally a separate company that took Mercedes-Benz products and went and turned them into menacing race vehicles. But now AMG is unified with Mercedes-Benz and that's where we're getting it all under one factory cover with this E53. Now, of course you can go higher performance and aesthetic wise with say an E63 or an E63S, but we'll save those for a later review. Now, dropping down, you'll notice that you have a little bit more flat black, but look at how open and why this lower intake area. Of course, we're dealing with turbocharged power, so we do have a massive intercooler. I love that satin aluminum finish right on the lower lip splitter. Remember, that's gonna stop air from going underneath and get more air into the interior of this massive opening. Now, when we get up onto the hood, it's a classic style that you see disappearing. Nice, long, low-slung hood. You got the Mercedes-Benz badging there. You got your two bulges, not just one, but two bulges, because guess what? When you go AMG, you are getting, of course, extra power. And as we come around the bend, what are we working with when we are talking wheel and tire setup? Feast your eyes on these updated AMG wheels. Really like the unique design. Instead of having a lip that kind of tucks in, the lip edge extends inward to give it a unique style. You can see the AMG branding stamped in there. Machined aluminum split spoke design. We have a nice large silver caliper there with the AMG badging. And then check out the rotors. 
cross drilled and fully ventilated. And then of course we're gonna have adaptive dampers, all four corners and air suspension. Now what's interesting with the vehicle sitting here turned off, the air suspension actually lowers it a little bit. When you fire this thing up, it raises up just a tad. We got those Pirelli tires wrapped around our beautiful style wheels. And I'm telling you, just stunning what they've done with the style and with the quality. And that's something that you're gonna come to expect from that shining star. Now, as we go down the side, no fake vents, nothing stuck on, just a clean bed, turbo and formatic. What does formatic mean? Formatic means we have all wheel drive. That's Mercedes Benz's talk for their all wheel drive system. Real wheel drive based, just like the BMW 8 series, but it sends power forward and backwards depending on what the grip level is. And I'm telling you, wait until we do the on throttle drive, this thing's gonna surprise you, even though this is not the full blown performance E63S. We got the drop top down, nice clean lines. I like the way they have this satin aluminum finish that goes around both the tops of the door, doors and also around the windshield frame. Gives it a classic look with that top down, beautiful black leather interior. You'll notice that side sill just drops down enough and two door, like I was saying, you just, it has a unique shape to it. Little bit of chrome on the door handle, nothing too crazy. Everything else just has nice lines. Let's look at the tail in the business. So just like up front, you have a 20 inch wheel, but out back, we're talking about 275 on the width. So we get a little bit wider wheel with these Pirelli P0 tires, and it's a 30 series sidewall. So very rubber band-esque sidewall, but you'll be surprised with the adaptive dampers and the air ride suspension. It's as smooth, it's like riding on a cloud, but when you turn up the wick, the cloud turns into a piece of plywood and you're able to handle those twisty bits. Speaking of twisty bits, let's twist around towards the rear. With that top down, you can see how you have no soft top showing. You got that tonneau cover looking great, that almost like a Speedster style design with the satin aluminum finish, nice painted. Look at the way they did even the LED tail light. Nice clear lens. It's almost like it's not even there. And then to kind of finish it off, because this is an AMG product, you are gonna get this nice low extension of a trunk lid spoiler with a little bit of kick up. This is functional stuff. Not only does it look good, but it also helps the vehicle at speed. You got full LED tail lights. I love the way they do the brake lights on the Mercedes-Benz products. E53 is pointing towards that direction of performance. Of course, when you see AMG, this is a true AMG vehicle. This isn't just a set of wheels, so you are gonna get that extra badging. And then on the lower side, look at the rear diffuser. Very, very massive race car-esque rear diffuser with the quad tip exhaust, functional, and you can make it louder, you can make it quieter. Let me know what you think about this midsection. Now, of course, these bumperettes have to be here because of DOT restrictions. Does it look good? Does it not look good? They did clean it up, but let me know in the comment section if I should be zonking these two guys right there. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering our AMG E53. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have two massive hydraulic hood struts underneath that hood. You're not gonna see much of the engine because of the size of this plastic cover, but the cover is styled very nicely. With the Mercedes-Benz logo, you got your AMG branding under there. What are we talking about though when we're looking at performance? We're looking at a three liter supercharged and turbocharged straight six and inline six produces 429 horsepower 384 pound feet of torque it is made it to a nine speed automatic transmission with that formatic all-wheel drive system zero to 60 in about 3.9 seconds the vehicle weighs 4500 pounds quarter mile goes by at 12 and a half seconds top speed 130 miles per hour and not too bad MPGs, 21 in the city, 28 on the highway. Now what's interesting is if we're comparing this to the BMW 8 Series, you obviously have two different ways you could go. You could go with the 840i or you could go with the 850i. Now if you go 850i, you are gonna have about almost 100 more horsepower than this vehicle has. If you go 840i, then you're gonna have about 100 less horsepower 100 horsepower less 
than what this vehicle has. So this one, I kind of like the way that Mercedes-Benz and AMG has done their lineup to where this really fits a sweet spot because like I said, if you want more, you could go E63S and have over 600 horsepower. But while we fire up this E53 that we have and hear what the AMG sounds like. All right, guys, we got the top up in our AMG E53, that dark, dark, dark cherry red finish with the gray. Kind of works, something different, that's for sure. Now, I know you're probably saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been looking for a larger style drop top. I didn't even know they made a cabriolet version of the E-Class. How much is this one? Because I've been looking at BMW. I've even been looking at the smaller A5 with Audi. How much is this particular one? So the e 53 Cabriolet starts at an MSRP of $84,000. This one has been optioned up to a little over $100,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Love the clean style and design. You got soft touch material, of course, up top with that white contrast stitching. And then you'll notice how Mercedes-Benz has that unique situation with their seat controls. It's easy to get to, nice aluminum finish. You got three memory seat settings, heated seats and ventilated seats, and we have the optional premium 13 speaker sound system, and that's carbon fiber all the way around. Sliding down to the armrest, beautiful leather with the contrast stitching, gives it that luxury, gives it the sport, and I'm very happy to report that guess what? The door pocket, super size, easily put two Annie Ann's pretzels and a bottle of root beer to wash it down. Going from the door panel to the dash, I hope you're ready for more carbon fiber. They spilled a bucket of carbon fiber all over this midsection. There's more of that leather, the contrast stitching, even the way they do the AC vents, so much attention to detail. Now you may notice some ambient lighting. This one has 64 colors. That's twice the amount of flavors as Baskin Robbins. Actually, more than twice the amount of flavors at Baskin Robbins that you're getting with your Roy G. Biv in here. And then as you slide across, guess what? Mercedes says bigger is better. Just like you say to your friends, you're getting two 12.3 inch screens. 12.3 inch infotainment system screen. As you can see, navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Now, what I originally didn't like about Mercedes-Benz products is that there's a million and one ways to go through the infotainment system, but now that I've learned them, it's easy to do. If you like to touch things, like your touch screen, you got your touch screen features, nice swipe, easy to control. We could go into AMG Performance. That's what we're all about here on Radies Rides. There's our vehicle with the top up, G meter. I could show engine data. Really, really cool. The colors, the graphics, the fonts, and then watch this. When I go into the different modes, we got Sport Plus, Sport, comfort, individual, and slippery when wet, the Bon Jovi mode. And then we could go right back to Sport Plus because that's how we're doing it here on Radies Rides. And like I said, touch screen, and there's other ways to access it. And I'll show you in a few seconds, but so easy to get into everything. And look at the graphics, the clarity. We go into comfort. You want massage seats? You can get your massage and get your drop top fun and you can get your vitamin D from the sun. All of that to make your body that much stronger strong like a rock. Let me show backup camera, watch this. Look at the clarity, that beautiful resolution. You do have trajectory. We got 360 cam, Lori's in the red zone because that door is open, but watch this. You want different angles? I can show you every freaking angle except from the moon. That's the one angle they don't have that I am a little disappointed is the moon view, but you do have every other view. Very, very nice, easy to manipulate and go through. And then when you're done, you just put it right back in the park. I go back to navigation, my navi. There we are. Let's continue our journey past the carbon fiber, the sea of carbon fiber. Start, stop button, 
nicely done, almost like a, a piece of jewelry. And then as we get to this mid console area, this is where I'm gonna have to zonk it. I wish that the carbon fiber was down here as well. You do have gloss black, it looks classy, but if you are a police officer or an FBI agent, you will love this because you'll be able to do fingerprint tests of everybody who enters your vehicle. I do like the physical controls though. So like I said, you could do infotainment to control your AC or we got our dual climate controls, nice toggle switches, continue our way, open this door, two cup holders, wireless charging, a USB-C and a 12 volt. But I'm gonna close it up so it looks nice and sleek. We got more ways to control. Just like BMW with the 8 Series, this has a direct drive control knob to go through your infotainment. You even have volume knobs. You could go through your dynamic modes all through with the switches and you got a mouse trackpad. So it's got something for everybody. Don't be overwhelmed. You will learn it. If I could do it, you could do it. And then check out the nice finish on everything to open up the convertible top, your windows, and watch this. Bombs away! Those dual doors, plenty of room in here, USB-Cs, and you got your place to plug in your phone, and you got your key fob. Very, very stylish. Flip it around, gloss black just like on the dash, but it does look very classy. And you could easily put, I would say, a baker's dozen worth of Twinkies in there. Get the chocolate kind because those are extra good that you'll want to have in this AMG. And then the seats. Talk about extra good. The leather, the stitching. Look at this. You see this vent right here? You could have a whisper of hot air on the back of your neck on a cold winter day as you got the top down AMG badging. Beautiful stitch work, perforated, nice bolstering. And then with the top up, I'm six feet tall. I got plenty of room in here. It does not feel claustrophobic. That's the nice thing. I know you're probably gonna say, well, I'll just go buy a Miata. Miatas are great, don't get me wrong, but it's a little tight. This though, if you're the Jolly Green Giant, you'll be able to still have the top up. But why don't you get your butt over here because I got a Formula One-esque steering wheel I wanna show you in this E53. All right guys, here we are, business time, behind the wheel of this AMG E53. Just to let you know you got an AMG, you're gonna be greeted to this beautiful sill plate with the AMG logo that's gonna light up at night and welcome you. Foot box, plenty of room. You do have an aluminum brake pedal and throttle. My only zonk is I wish they would do an aluminum dead pedal. This floor mat, as you can see, kind of moves around a lot and just, it would look so much cleaner and not wear like the carpet would. But like I said, six feet tall, feel good. So many adjustments with these seats and then the steering wheel, it is power tilting and telescoping. This is the updated steering wheel that came from model year 2021. Horn button, I wish they would put some le some nice leather or some stitching here. It's a little on the rubber side, but I do like the split spoke design. Check this out, with the TFT toggles, you just twist and you could go through your different modes right off the steering wheel, just like a, a Formula One race car driver. Massive paddles that are metal behind the steering wheel to go up and down that nine speed automatic. And then the dash, like I said, Another 12.3 inches, and the cool thing is, is that you could actually scroll through all the information in the center there, nice clean graphics, and then what's really great is that you could actually go through different modes. So when you go through your different modes, you go into display, watch this, this is cool. Boom, you got that uh, set up if you wanna have it that way. You could go many different ways depending on how you want the display to look. And that, to me, really just opens up the accessibility. Look how I'm putting the different information in that right gauge. Nice and large. Check it out, look at this. Horsepower boost gauge. Love the way you could really personalize this vehicle exactly the way you want it, but you know what? Let's see how the top goes down. Let's give it a test. Let's throw it back. All right, guys, we're gonna put the top down. We're just gonna push down on that center button there, and it's going to lift the top up. Windows go down, and there is everything in orchestrated action. Actually goes down pretty quickly, and you can do this while you're moving up to around 30 or so miles per hour. You get a little bit of a chime. Another thing that I really think is smart is that, say if you wanna put the side glass up to cut down on 
wind turbulence, there's actually a separate switch for that. You just lift up and all side glass goes up, which is great. Or if you want to put it down, one, two, three, and really enjoy that open air experience. But what about the back seat? We're going to go ahead, jump into the back seat and see how usable this two door Cabriolet E53 really is. All right, guys, back seat time in this drop top convertible. Open up the door, it's got a nice lever up top. The seat electrically slides forward, and then you're just gonna climb on in. Drop in, and this I'm telling you is one of the big benefits because I'm six feet tall, and I actually feel pretty good sitting back here. I'll even move the back of the seat to come back, and you can see just how much room you have. And this is why I say, compared to an A5 from Audi, you're gonna have a lot more room. It's gonna be close between an eight series and this particular AMG E53. Backs of the seats, I don't know if you can see in the camera footage, but those are the fans to blow that nice warm air on the back of your neck. Soft touch material. You do have a large pocket, and what I'm gonna advise is put in some sunscreen, at least SPF 50. I would go higher if you can. You do have two AC vents, which are wonderful, and then each passenger is gonna have a switch to actually put up the side glass, which is wonderful when the doors close. You got your speaker grill cover, nice soft touch material, and the seats for being back seats in a two door convertible are actually pretty comfortable, especially with the nice soft leather. Really think that this is a great environment to go cruise the beach or go cruise your favorite main street. But speaking of cruising, you're gonna have to bring some stuff with you. Let's go ahead, check out the cargo capacity in the trunk of this E53. All right guys, time to get into the trunk. What I love about Mercedes and how they make this clean design and clean engineering, look at how you pop the trunk. You just hit the emblem, pops up, and then you're gonna be greeted to about nine cubic feet of space. Now with the top down, you do lose a little bit of height. And that's just something you're gonna have to be aware of that it's a compromise when you know, owning a convertible, but you still got tons of room. You could easily put with the top down two carry-on luggage bags to any plane and just slide those in there and do your road trip and have a good time and experience that open air sensation. Speaking of sensation, if you're ready, this guy right here is ready. We got the keys. Let's go on throttle in our drop top Mercedes AMG E53. All right, guys, we're inside this 2022 Mercedes AMG E53 Cabriolet. We got the drop top down, side windows up so that you could hear me a little bit more. I'm going to leave it in automatic shift mode. We are in S plus mode when we went through the different modes from comfort to sport. So we're going sport plus. Really, really nice layout in this E53. Instrumentation is so easy to see. Carbon fiber everywhere. The leather seats are comfy. And if you're ready, I'm ready. I got this awesome Formula One style steering wheel. I'm ready to go on throttle. So here we go. On throttle, yeah! Here we go. Nice crackles from the exhaust. The nine speed automatic is shifting really well. Brakes feel phenomenal. Nice. Love this sound. Plenty of power, that's for sure. So let's talk about what we got going on here. Obviously, you could get more performance. And when I say more performance, obviously more performance under the hood, braking and suspension. There was a bit of body roll in those left right transitions. But other than that, very stable with that Formatic. Remember, when we say Formatic, we're talking about Mercedes Benz and their all wheel drive system. Steering wheel communication is pretty freaking good. It's a little numb on top dead center, but other than that, feedback coming from the front wheels is, is really well done. 
You know, the wonderful news is getting to everything is so well laid out in here. The ventilated seats, heated seats, the seat controls, having them up nice and high makes all the adjustments a quick snap. I put it into manual shift mode. I am gonna use those paddles to go up and down the nine speed automatic. We're gonna drop it down to third gear, get a little crackle, a little pop. If you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. Nice. On those brakes, massive caliper slowing us down. <laughs> I tell you, you get it all with this car. Smooth downshifts. So it's interesting, the nine speed automatic, it's good. I just don't know if it's as good as say a dual clutch transmission. The shifts are a tad slow, but you do have those nice metal paddles behind the steering wheel, nice size to go up and down that nine speed automatic. All right guys, this time from a dead stop, the steering wheel is so beautiful. Highly recommend optioning this bad boy in but uh, we're in first gear, manual shift from a dead stop. On throttle, here we go. Nice. Feels so good. <laughs> You're not getting a bunch of turbulence in here, which is great. All right, guys, one more time for you. And what I did was I put the top up. I just want to show you how really serene of, a, of an environment it is. You know, even with other convertibles that we've driven, you are going to get some wind noise and some uh, extra road noise. But with this E53, man, you're not getting that. But here we go. On throttle. Golly, that all-wheel drive just sticks. Here we go. sound pops the pops and bangs at that thing <laughs> but you hear how quiet it is so freaking nice the way this thing drives Like I said, if you want more power and performance, you could go up higher with an E63S. Watch out, that thing's a beast. But hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of what the E53 is bringing for the money. We're gonna wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, it's been one heck of a day with this 2022 Mercedes AMG E53. I first off got to thank Baron and the rest of the team at Mercedes-Benz USA for allowing Radies Rides access to this particular vehicle. Let me know what you think. Has Mercedes and AMG done enough to make this a true performance drop top? Even though it is larger in size, is there enough performance? Would you rather go the BMW 8 Series route? Put it in the comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, Hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you in the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rides merch. Got to give it up to the star behind the camera, Lori working it like a champ. Put some love for her in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.